Hello and welcome to this episode of Geophysics Made Easy with Blue Bag Reservoir. Today we're going to look at how we can integrate EM data into our interpretation workflow. So today we'll be using the Bridge plugin to show how we can incorporate EM data with our other interpretation work in Vitrell. The three main workflows I want to show today are how to display your EM data together with your seismic in the interpretation window, how to make a resistivity amplitude map <clears throat> and compare with your surface attributes, and how to cross-plot resistivity data together with amplitude data so you can map out um, some of the values. Today we're going to be using the Bridge plugin, which lets you do all things EM with Petrel, but we'll be focusing in on the post-inversion uh, module. So let's take a look at these uh, workflows in Petrel. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to show is how to compare your EM data together with your seismic, and to do that I'm going to open up a new interpretation window here. And then if I come to my seismic interpretation uh, pane and choose from the right hand side create edit blueback seismic probe. If I uh, then just uh, draw here a simple box what I get is my uh, overlay of my resistivity cube uh, on top of my seismic with a slight uh, transparency. And if I look for the uh, probe here in the input tree I can double click and you can see I can adjust the uh, cube that I want to overlay and the uh, control of the transparency. So this just lets you see where you have uh, high uh, resistivity values and where they match up against your uh, various structures in the seismic uh, interpretation window. Next I want to show how we can better uh, map these um, anomalies out and compare with our surface attribute work. So to do that I want to come back to um, home here and choose the blueback toolbox icon from the home bar. And then I'm going to choose bridge post inversion and then transverse resistance. And what transverse resistance does is it basically calculates an amplitude map of transverse uh, resistance, average resistance and the standard deviation uh, along a surface. So here you specify your resistivity cube and input here a surface with a uh, interval range to calculate the resistance over. So then you just press OK and you get a amplitude map. And if I then bring this up in Petrel, here I have my top reservoir uh, structure and then my transverse resistance, my average resistivity and my standard deviation uh, of that. So now I want to show how we can compare that together with our RMS amplitude. So I'm going to do that by simple copy and paste this uh, top reservoir here. And then what I want to do is turn on the RMS amplitude for that surface. And then in the style settings, just apply a simple uh, transparency, like so. And here we can see I'm now comparing my um, <coughs> transverse resistance together with my RMS amplitude here on this uh, single display. Finally I want to show how we can um, map this out statistically using a cross plot. So in order to do that I'm going to click on object and say new GDI investigation. And then I'm going to add a surface to this investigation. Choose my top reservoir surface and add in two dimensions here. So the first my transverse resistance and then my RMS uh, amplitude. I'm just going to change the name here to make it a bit more visible. And I'm also going to add in my X, uh, Y and uh, depth uh, spatial dimensions here. Uh, and also time. And then I'm just going to press uh, OK. Once I've uh, done that, I'm then going to open it up by right-clicking on my investigation and say Show in Blueback Crossplot Window. And once that loads, I'll have a uh, crossplot of my transverse resistance against my RMS amplitude. And then I will apply a simple rectangular filter to pick out some of the high RMS and high transverse resistance values and that will enable me to map it out back in the um, 3D space in Petrel.
So here I have my uh, cross plot window of RMS against transverse uh, resistance. I can color by my uh, values here, like for example, the transverse uh, resistance. So then what I want to do is just to use a simple uh, rectangular filter and pick out here some of the high RMS and high uh, transverse resistance values, like so. And then if I come back to my uh, 3D window in Petrel and toggle on my top reservoir surface, like so, I can then toggle on my investigation and what you'll see is it's mapped out those high um, transverse resistance values together with the um, high RMS uh, amplitude values. That was everything that I wanted to show today on integrating EM data together with Petrel. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for listening. Bye.